One day, in the Hundred Acre Wood, Winnie the Pooh was going for a quiet walk with his good friend, Christopher Robin. Oh, bother. There's a rumbly in my tumbly. <laughs> You're always hungry, Pooh Bear. I know. Why don't you try thinking of something besides your tummy? That's a very good idea, Christopher Robin. Now, I wonder what else I could think about. Well, you could remember some of your favourite times. Oh, yes. Now, think, think, think. Well, I think my favourite times are always the friendliest times. And birthday parties are very friendly indeed. And so, to forget his hunger, Winnie the Pooh decided to remember a few birthday parties by looking at his friend's birthday scrapbooks. Now, to forget about being hungry, Winnie the Pooh remembered the birthday of one of his very dear friends. Today is Piglet's birthday. I had better go see if he needs help getting ready for his party. Say there, Sonny. If you want to visit Piglet, it's gonna be a problem. Gotta open the gate first, you know. Personally, I'd use the key on the tree stump. <laughs> Spectacular! Now you better skedaddle on out of here and go see Piglet. Last time I saw him, he looked worried. Why, hello, Pooh Bear. Are you going to visit Piglet today? Oh, yes. As today is his birthday, I thought it would be the perfect day to pay him a birthday visit. Oh, he'll be very happy to see you. But do be careful, dear. One of the boards is missing on the bridge to his house. It should be replaced. <laughs> oh. Say hey there, Sonny. That tummy of yours sure is making a lot of noise. The heffalumps will know just where you are. Better skedaddle away from them. Oh, bother. I don't suppose you know how to frighten away a heffalump? Hmm. <laughs> Course I do. I'm an expert. Just find a balloon and pop it. That's sure to make them run away. Hey, are those bees stopping you from passing by? Well, you come to the right place. I've found just the way to make them ski daddle. All you have to do is bring them the number of honey pots they're asking for. Honey pots? <laughs> I don't suppose you might know where I could find some honey pots, that is. Certainly do. They're everywhere. Just uh, look around. You're sure to find some. <laughs> happy birthday, Piglet! Are you having a happy birthday so far? <laughs> I am! Oh, I, I, I mean, I, I would be. Except, you see, Pooh, I lost my broom, and now I can't sweep up for my birthday party. Oh, don't worry, Piglet. I believe Kanga has a broom. I shall just go ask her if we may borrow it. Oh, thank you, Pooh Bear. Oh, Kanga, could I possibly borrow your broom? I'm afraid that Piglet has misplaced his. Well, I'm still doing my housework, Pooh, but I'll give it to you just as soon as I'm done. While I finish up, would you be a dear and go look for Roo? It's time for a snack. Well, I'd be happy to, Kanga. Now, where is he? I believe he's playing in front of your house. Roo, I'm glad I found you. I was just visiting Kanga, and she said it's time for your snack. But look, Pooh Bear, I've been trying to catch butterflies to bring to Piggo's birthday party. And I haven't caught any yet. And I haven't been much of a help. 
Well, perhaps Eeyore and I could try to catch the butterflies together. Oh, would you please? Well, I'll give it a try. Probably make a mistake, though. I just know you can do it. <gasps> oh, boy! We're gonna catch butterflies! Oh, that was great! Look at all the butterflies I got! They can fly all around at Piglet's party! And now I can go home for my snack. Guess I'll go look for some sticks to rebuild my house again. I shall go with you, Roo. Perhaps Kenga has finished her housework. Pooh, dear, thank you for finding Roo. And I've just finished my housework, so you may take my broom now. Thank you, Kenga. Oh, this will make Piglet very happy. Oh, thank you, Pooh Bear. I, I feel much better now. And when I have a broom, I just know I'll feel even better. Here you are, Piglet. Oh, a broom. How wonderful. And now I can sweep my house from top to bottom. And I shall help you, Piglet. Then your house will be the perfect place to have the perfect birthday party. And indeed, Pooh Bear remembered that Piglet's birthday party was one of the most perfect ever. And as Pooh remembered his friend Roo's birthday, he forgot all about his hungry tummy. Today is Roo's birthday, and I haven't found a present for him yet. I think I shall ask Kanga if she knows what Roo likes best. Hello, Kanga. I'm trying to find a surprise to give Roo for his birthday, and I thought you might know what he likes best. Oh, how kind of you, Pooh Bear. I know Roo would really like to learn how to do Tigger's whoop de dooper bounce. That would be a very nice present for you to give him. Oh, that's a wonderful idea, Kanga. But I think I shall need Tigger to help me. I'm not certain where Tigger is, but perhaps you could ask Rabbit. I know he's in the forest. Hello, Rabbit. Have you seen Tigger by any chance? Tigger? Why, yes, Pooh Bear, he's at home. Oh, but wait a minute, I'm, af I'm afraid you can't get there. You see, all of Tigger's bouncing has caused a landslide and blocked the path. And without a shovel, well, it's impossible to get by. I wonder where I could find a shovel. Well, I'm sure I saw one on the way to Piglet's house. Uh, and uh, you'll need a turn handle to make the bridge come down, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, bother. I can't seem to pull the shovel out of the ground. I suppose I shall need some help. Oh, Gopher, could you help me pull this shovel out? Why, certainly. I'll push it up from below, and you grab it. Have to hurry, though. Can't help you for very long, you know. Got rules about such things. Thank you, Gopher. Well, glad to be of help, Sonny. Oh, hello, Tigger. Hello there, Pooh. Tigger, I was just wondering, do you think you could teach Roo how to do your whoop de dooper bounce? For his birthday. Of course I can, Pooh. After all, Bounce is what Tiggers do best, but first, I need your help. See, I, I started bouncing and now you, well, <laughs> I can't stop. I see. But how can I help you, Tigger? Well, if you took this key, you might find something useful to unbounce me over by my house. Oh. oh. Oh, bother. The key dropped. But I shall go and look for it. Goodbye, Tigger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this machine is driving me crazy. I just can't seem to get it to work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> you know, I love bouncing, but uh, stopping's good, too. <laughs> and now I can go... Oops. I think we got another predicament. Oh, dear. Don't worry, Tigger. I shall go and ask Rabbit for help. Oh, thanks, Pooh Boy. I'm sure old Long Earth has just a thing for unsticking a Tigger. Excuse me, Rabbit. But I don't suppose you might have something that I could use to unstick, Tigger? Oh, I have just the thing. Uh, this stick is perfect for unsticking things. <laughs> now, if I could just get this machine to work. Could I help? Oh, yes, yes. You, you must uh, push these levers in the right order. Uh, but I've forgotten what order that is. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> My machine is working again. Thank you, Pooh Bear. <gasps> I almost forgot. Here's the stick to help you unstick Tigger. <sighs> well, now I, I must get back to watering my carrots. Maybe Rabbit's got something that could unstickify me. <laughs> Thank you, Pooh. You're the bestest buddy bear a fella could have. Uh, Poo? No bother. Now I'm stuck. Don't worry, Buddy Bear. I'll go get Goofer. <laughs> He's kind of handy at unsticking things, you know. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'd better be real stealthy-like, so nobody sees me. Say, you're just a gopher I was looking for. Old Pooh Bear stuck in one of your gophery type holes. Hmm, sounds like a job for someone with my excavation skills. I'll get right on it. Oh, thanks, gopher. Well, I guess I'll just wait for you here then. Oh. Oh. Yep, there you are. And uh, watch where you're going next time. That's very good advice, gopher. Thank you. Now, Sonny, I think that Tigger fellow's waiting for you. <laughs> we gotta hurry, Pooh Bear. Little Rue's birthday day party is just about ready to get started. <laughs> Happy birthday, Rue! Tigger! Pooh! You're here! Well, of course we are, little Roo, and we got here just in time for me to teach you the whoop de doop our bounce Oh, Tigger, that would be the best birthday present ever! <laughs> <laughs> and indeed, Pooh remembered that Roo's birthday party was a great success. <sighs> so Winnie the Pooh remembered the birthday of his friend, Tigger, and forgot all about his rumbly tumbly. Hello, Rue. Are you ready for Tigger's birthday? Oh no, Pooh. Two of the Tigger costumes blew away. And we need them for Tigger's surprise birthday picture. Oh dear. It seems to me that we shall need all the costumes to take the picture. Hey. Maybe my mama saw where the costumes blew to. I think she's over by Piglet's house. Pooh, you've come at just the right time. The costume is on the other side of this ravine. I'm afraid it's impossible to reach. Now, I'm sure Owl could help. Oh, but it seems the path to his house is blocked by thorns. Here, Pooh, take the key to my shed. There are tools in there that could help you. <laughs> Hello, Pooh. Oh, I'm very glad I found you, Owl. You see, I was wondering if you could help us cross the ravine near Piglet's house. Oh, dear boy, I would love to, but I don't have the time just now. 
I'm certain I can think of something, though. Why don't you catch a few butterflies with this net? Then they could pick up Piglet and take him over the ravine. Oh, <laughs> genius idea, if I do say so myself. Hello, Eeyore. How are you today? No better, no worse. Trying to catch these butterflies. Kinda hard to catch them without a net, though. Hmm. Thanks for bringing me the butterfly net, Pooh. Why, certainly, Eeyore. In fact, I think I need to catch some butterflies, too. So I thought perhaps we could catch them together. Sounds fine to me. Gotta be quick, though. The butterflies are flying extra fast today. <gasps> Thank you for your help, Eeyore. You're welcome, Pooh. Glad to do it. Now I shall take these butterflies to Piglet. Sounds like a good idea to me. Oh, the butterflies are lifting me up. Oh, the dear, a half a lump. Perhaps if I use one of my very scary faces, I might be able to chase it away. Yes, thank you, Piglet. Oh, you're welcome, Pooh. Now, Pooh dear, you get the costume, and I'll wait for you in front of my house. That's wonderful, dear. Now we're only missing one costume. And I think that I just saw it flying towards the mountain behind Owl's house. Oh, bother. I shall never be able to get through. I wonder if Piglet could, seeing as he is a rather small animal. Piglet, I think I need your help. Of course, Pooh. I'd be happy to help you. You see, I need to go up the mountain, but the path is far too narrow for a bear of my uh, stoutness. Oh, I'll help you clear the path. There you are, Pooh. Now you can go up the mountain. Oh, thank you, Piglet. Certainly, Pooh. Goodness, I'm rather tired now. Maybe I'll take a little nap before Tigger's party. Oh! Hmm. How wonderful, dear. You've gathered all the costumes. Now we can take the surprise picture for Tigger's birthday. Oh, I hope he likes it. <laughs> Look at all my Tiggerific friends! Why, this is the bestest birthday present I ever got! And indeed, Pooh remembered that Tigger's birthday party was one of the most enjoyable ever. Why, hello, Eeyore. I hope you're having a very happy birthday. Not especially. Didn't start off very well. My house fell down again. And it's still not fixed. No. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps something will come along to make your day better. <laughs> we have a very special surprise for Eeyore today, and I shall go see how it is coming along. <laughs> Just a poo bear I was hoping to see. We got trouble, buddy boy. Eeyore's secret like surprise is about to be ruined. Oh, dear. Oh, perhaps I should try to cross the bridge and um, save it. Looks like that bridge needs a turn-in with a turn-type handle. I'll both off and see if I can find one for you. Oh, thank you, Tigger. Oh, you're welcome, Pooh. Now, you gotta go find little Piglet. <laughs> He's gotten the present, you know. 
<gasps> Pooh Bear, thank goodness it's you. Uh, that mother frog misses her little ones, and she's making so much noise I can't get any rest. You absolutely must take the little frogs back to their mother. Hello, Ro. Hello, Eeyore. Are you playing a game today? Nope, not a game. We're trying to catch these frogs so we can take them back to their mother. Yeah, she keeps calling them and her calls are stopping Mr. Rabbit from getting rest. Sure would be helpful if we had a jar to put them in. If only we had a jar. Yep. It'd make it easier to catch the frogs. A jar! This will be very helpful for catching the frogs. I know, Pooh Bear. Why don't you help Eeyore catch the frogs? <laughs> that sounds rather fun. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to be quick. The frogs like to hide. <gasps> Hooray! You did it! Glad I could help. Suppose I'll go back to fixing my house now. And I shall take these frogs to their mother. That's a great idea, Pooh Bear. We'll see you soon. Oh, thank you, Pooh Bear. At last, a little peace and quiet. <sighs> now I can get some rest. It will fall on Eeyore's present. Don't worry, Piglet. I'll see what I can do. Oh, this passage is a bit too narrow for me. But perhaps Piglet could get through. Oh, Piglet, it seems that our path is blocked. And only a very small animal such as yourself can get through. Oh, all right, Pooh Bear. I'll try and help. Glad we saved Eeyore's present, but now it seems that we are stuck. Uh, Pooh Bear, I, I think I can get through. I'll go and get a stick to clear the way. so strong. Oh, yes, Piglet. And you are very brave, too. Now, I shall go get Eeyore, so that we can give him his present. Happy birthday, Eeyore. We have a very special surprise for you. A surprise? Yes, and if you follow me, we can surprise you with it. Happy birthday, Eeyore. We have a surprise for you. Oh, yes, a secret surprise. Oh, look, a new house. Just what I wanted. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, Eeyore. And indeed, Pooh Bear remembered that Eeyore's birthday surprise was one of the best ever. <sighs> and so, to forget about being hungry, <clears throat> Pooh remembered his own birthday. Today is my birthday, and I think I should like to go on a treasure hunt. But you see, I'm not certain how to begin. Perhaps Owl would know. No, oh, but I shall need to find a key to his gate. I wonder if it is near Kanga's house. Digger, how did you get all the way over there? 
by bouncing a cord. Say, why don't you join me, Pooh? I'll go find a way to make a bridge for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There you go, Pooh Bear. The bridge is all ready for crossing. Thank you, Tigger. I don't mention it. <laughs> now it's time for me to bounce on out of here. <laughs> Hello, Pooh Bear. Today seems like a good day to collect wood. If you like that sort of thing, which I do. Ba -do, 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 -do. <laughs> Oh, mother. Those birds have taken my key. Perhaps Eeyore could help me get it back. Eeyore, do you suppose you could help me catch those birds? You see, they have taken a key, which I am in need of. Sure, Pooh. Better take the butterfly net, though. Probably come in handy. <laughs> You're a very good friend, Eeyore. With this key, I can now go visit Owl. Glad to help, Pooh. Hello, Owl. Today is my birthday, you know. And for my birthday, I thought that I would like to go on a treasure hunt. <laughs> <laughs> a treasure hunt! Oh, marvelous idea! And I know just the thing you need. A treasure map. A treasure map? Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't suppose you might know where I could um, find one? Of course I do, dear boy. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes! I distinctly remember seeing such a map hidden in some shrubs. Oh, yes, yes. The path near Kanga's shed leads straight to some shrubs. No oh, bother. The passage in these shrubs is a bit too small for a rather stout bear to get through. Maybe I can make it wider for you, Pooh. Oh, that would be very helpful indeed, Piglet. I did it, Pooh Bear! Thank you very much, Piglet. Now I can get through easily. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I could help. The treasure map. No, oh, but I'm afraid I can't read it. Perhaps Owl could help. Oh, you found the treasure map. Ah, oh, well done. Oh, but I can't read it. Do you think you could, Owl? Read it, that is? Oh, certainly. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, yes. The treasure is in a cave on the snow mountain. Oh, thank you, Owl. Wait a moment, Pooh. You should take this candle with you. It might be rather useful. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, look! I found the treasure, and it's honey! Oh, how very yummy. I shall share the honey with all of my very good friends at my birthday party. And indeed, this birthday was Winnie the Pooh's most delicious birthday of all. Hello, Pooh Bear. Now, how is that rumbly-tumbly of yours? Much better, thank you. You see, by remembering all the birthdays we celebrated, I forgot to be hungry. Oh, that's too bad. For you see, I've bought you some honey. Honey? Oh, well, well now that you mention it, um, Christopher Robin, um, <laughs> my tumbly is a bit rumbly again. <laughs> I thought that might be so. Well, why don't we have a party with all our friends so that everyone can enjoy our honey? And so, in memory of their birthdays and to enjoy Pooh's new honey, all the friends in the Hundred Acre Wood 
had a picnic together. Yes, and this picnic will give me one more memory to remember.